Hello viewers, now we are going to discuss about the most important component in the Android development ecosystem. It's Android SDK. Android SDK, SDK means Software Development Kit. This kit is a big collection of resources to build Android apps. Uh, it is all in all, but uh, to understand better, we will uh, discuss uh, the packages in uh, another topics. But uh, we have made it with some portion. With uh, we have divided the Android SDK into libraries, API, and Gradle. While discussing about Android SDK uh, in deeply, we will discuss about libraries. API and Gradle. Uh, now uh, come to know what is library as library is another uh, component of as Android SDK. A library is a full set of reusable code. Reusable code that provides ready-made functionality. We say ready-made functionality like image loading, networking, animation, database maintaining, views, controlling, etc. There is different types of libraries we can use but uh, for understanding I have uh, I want to present some libraries, uh, important libraries suppose Android Jetpack, Retrofit, Clit and JSON. Android uh, Jetpack is another important libraries uh, we used to uh, this library to show live data latest data in our app again using its built-in database system SQLite database service system we can we can use android jetpack and also if you need the navigation different activities we also use this uh, jetpack library uh, secondly we can say retrofit libraries for network related issues student related tasks we can use uh, retrofit libraries uh, if when we need uh, image loading and cache library management we can use glit uh, library another important library is json uh, when we going to pass uh, app data to server so network uh, we can use json library it converts our java objects data to json format and in the same way the vice versa json format with java object and it is very popular libraries json format library uh, hope that uh, it's uh, to make our concept clear we can uh, use analogy uh, as the ready-made functionality in uh, while building a smart city uh, we can use water system, electricity system for developing this smart system, city. In this way, uh, libraries, these kinds of libraries helps to develop our Android app with some relevant functionalities. Hope that you can understand libraries. Now, we'll discuss about another component uh, of libraries. Uh, sorry, another comp components of uh, Android SDK is API. API means Application Programming Interface. We know that uh, mobile devices have some hardware parts like camera, GPS, and biometric uh, fingerprint uh, devices. Sometimes when we need to need our app to communicate with uh the uh, hardware now then uh, in the time we use api when in need to take photo from our app we can use camera api when in need to get user location we can use location api when in need fingerprint uh, detection uh, to login in the time we can use biometric api Hope that we can understand the APIs, the part of software development kit. Then another important component in SDK is Gradle. 
it's a, a bell system it's uh, i think uh, i can i can make you to understand easily suppose uh, uh, you are customer in a restaurant um, and you want to make a dish you just give a order uh, the chef in the in the uh, restaurant um, in its kitchen to make a dish after getting this order the chef will take what will he do he will take right ingredients to go and uh, follow right recipe and mix everything correctly uh, and sequential after some times finally it can prepare the dish for what you order it griddle is like the chef in the kitchen uh, in the app development process uh, griddle will just get the comment from the user uh, from the developer uh, after getting the command uh, gradle collect all the related so resources and ports and then compile it merge it uh, and even handle a dependency and packages uh, and finally build the app to publish in uh, play store so that we can understand android sdk with its libraries apis and gradle build system